Hey guys, what's up? I thought I'd bring you a little video on the new Xbox One Elite controller so you guys can see what it's all about and whether it's worth you getting one or not. So there's the box, don't need that. All right, here we go. Xbox One Elite controller. Now, I do have... Handy. A standard controller. First thing you can notice... That's very plasticky. It's not bad for what it is, but it's very plasticky. This one, you can see the finish. It's very soft and silky to touch. Very comfortable. And uh, also on the back there, you can, uh, you can see that nice grips. Those that get sweaty hands after long playing sessions. And uh, you can also see it's got your paddles here on the bottom. Which sit perfectly... Uh, in your hand if you're playing uh, you've also got these little switches if you can see just above the paddles there the green switches this is for your triggers you can see I've got that one set all the way down it's normal just as it would be on a standard controller and this, the other one I've got set halfway so it only goes in half the distance and that's adjustable. Uh, also, what have we got? Got a green button at the top there, which is your Wi-Fi connection to your Xbox. It also acts if you double tap it. You can turn your triggers on and off if you're playing a game you don't need them. Same again on, double tap, double tap again to turn them off. Also got yeah, these are very. A lot easier to push off find than the standard controller. Um, I find this one a little okay, in focus. It's a bit stiffer. This one is a lot way easier. Uh, it also You've got your standard for your adapter for your headset and you can also plug your headset straight in if you can see that okay uh, we've also got i'll move that one out of the way for now also got you can see the d-pad's different uh, it comes with a very nice little carry case which is pretty solid if you want to take it about with you somewhere friend's house or wherever and uh you can see we've got interchangeable d-pads here Really easy to come off and change. You've got a standard one in there if you want it. All comes with it. Just stick that straight back on. And uh, your joysticks. They come with three different sizes. You've got your standard ones. Which I've already changed out. Uh, you put there. You've got these are the dome sticks. Which are the medium size. And then they also come. Those that like longer thumbsticks with a larger size so quite a choice to choose from I prefer playing with the dome sticks myself but we're all different now again they come off really easy um, it's literally that easy and the d-pad again that easy uh, I think that's about it really it also comes with an app on the dashboard which means you can change your sensitivity on pretty much most of it you can change and map all the different buttons you can put the triggers as lb and rb if you wish or you can have them as your a b y x I'd probably even map them to this i haven't actually checked that so but but yeah you can even change the sensitivity of your joy pads on the app as well so it's a pretty nifty bit of kit and so far i'm really liking it um i had a scuff for the 360 and that's pretty cool but i've got to say this elite controller it's a lot of money it is is it worth it that's up to you to decide i guess but personally i really like it i like the way it feels it's very sensitive to touch and it works a treat. 
and I think that's pretty much about it really if you like the video please click the like button comment subscribe thanks for watching